I am Professor Beth LaFave, and I grew up in a town called Oxford, Ohio. Yeah, so when I graduated from college, I spent four years teaching elementary school. I taught first grade for two years in a rural school in Louisiana, about 15 miles from the Mississippi border. And then I taught for an additional two years at a private school in Morocco. I mostly teach a class called Educational Equity, and that's taken, it's a gen ed course, so students from across the university take that. I've also taught an upper level educational psychology course that focuses on differentiation and management for our program, and I've also taught inquiry seminar for the last couple of years. In terms of my favorite thing about teaching at Bethel. I really enjoy that there's a lot of opportunity to get to know students really well. I enjoy getting to hear their thinking, having conversations with them, meeting for coffee, going for lunch, really just hearing about how they're processing some of the different things that we're covering in class. Both of those courses are pretty developmental in terms of content and so it's really fun to explicitly work with students and some of those things. My primary area of research at the moment has been on alternative teacher licensure programs and how that fits into some of the broader educational reform movements that are popular right now. So in particular looking at the privatization movement and how that impacts how we pay for schooling, how teachers are trained to do their work, etc. So I've been doing I've done a longitudinal study of Teach for America for the past been almost 10 years now. I've also done quite a bit of research focused on the development of colonial education in Uganda and its impacts on the present and students' present experience. So broadly speaking, I'm really interested in kind of how our notions about how we should educate kids, what they should be educated in, who, they, who should educate them. I'm interested in how that impacts the kinds of decisions that we make about schooling. So less about day-to-day -day classroom life and more like on the big picture level, when we take a step back, what does it mean? What can we know about schools and how they fit into society as a whole?